Hello and welcome to the House of Valentina fashion channel. I am so excited about today's video because I have been planning this for a few weeks and I've been thinking long and hard about what my best purchases for my closet, for my beauty area, what were the best purchases that I made in 2022? You know what? This was actually kind of a challenge because I really tried to think through what, what would quantify something as one of my best purchases. So. I thought through that. My criteria ended up being something that I wore over and over and I just absolutely loved that number one. Perhaps it was something new that I'd never tried before and ended up loving. And I was also looking for things that I had purchased that the quality was just absolutely amazing and I know that I've now purchased something that is just gonna be a forever piece. It's gonna last me years and years to come and that's what I was kinda looking for. So let's jump into today's video. I'm gonna put the coffee down because I can't talk with that in my hand. You guys know it. Okay, let's start out with the things that I am actually wearing right now. One of my absolute favorite purchases of this year, without a doubt, was the turtleneck that I am wearing. I have bought this in almost every single color it comes in. It's actually an Amazon find. They are amazing. So I've got them in the green, I've got them in the burgundy, I've got them in the navy, the light gray, the dark, I've got them in every color they come in. And I just loved the quality on this. I loved the, just the ribbing on it at the top, the ribbing on it on the sleeve. The length, everything about it. It's just really high quality and such a great price that it was just a no brainer to just go buy it in every color I could get it in. Loved it. Uh, then the other thing that I'm also wearing is this blazer. You know, I was thinking so hard. I have so many blazers in my wardrobe and it was really hard to pick my favorite one. But one of the reasons I loved this one is because it really just brought back that sort of menswear feel back into my wardrobe. This has been something that I have always loved. I remember even in the 90s, I was always drawn to blazers like this. Uh, I just love that sort of menswear feel that thing that men were, men's, what used to be for men only, now I just feel like we as ladies just look amazing in and I just love it. Now this one also was a departure. I loved the fact that it was double breasted, a little bit, it's fitted so it's not just gaping oversized, uh, but I love the double breasted and the other thing I loved was this color. I loved the fact that this blended my brown and my black. I've been obsessing over the color brown this year and I love the fact that this just kind of pulled all of that together. I love the fact that this could also go with a tank top underneath it. I wore it all throughout fall here in Atlanta and I will definitely be wearing it into the winter months after the holidays and I just, I just love it. Today, I've got it paired with the little black you knew I was gonna say this. The black leather pants, you guys have seen me wearing them a million times. I, I think every day I should wear something else. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> fine, I'll wear something else. Today I'm actually wearing the pair from The Gap and I just really loved this pair. I've recommended them to you guys a whole bunch of times. I also have the pair from Mother, and they were a little bit longer. And then of course, I also have a pair about last year that were more fitted. I feel like in the black, the faux black leather pant category, you almost need three. You need one that's a little bit longer if you wanna have like a longer look on your ankle, and then if you, if you wanna wear a boot underneath them, it's nice if they're a little bit longer. Uh, then you need one like this. This one is cut kind of at the ankle here, and it looks really cute with just like a little heel on or a little flat. I think that's nice to have that ankle length. And then the ones that are skinny look great with boots. So I have discovered a few shoes this year. Uh, I actually kept the packaging inside of these. I wanna get some of those little boot Things. I think those are one of the things that I need to get in the new year. But uh, I've just kept the packaging in them to make sure that they stay upright. But one of my favorite discoveries of 2022 was actually this brand, Shoots. I guess that's how you say it. S-C-H-U-T-Z. Shoots. Shoot. I, surely that's how you say it. I don't know. But I just fell in love with their shoes because they are actually really high quality and yet still really budget friendly. For the quality that you're getting, the price is very, very reasonable to say the least. And I bought so many shoes like these, like the little boots with the faux croc and the great heel that are knee high. 
Again, those look great with those more fitted legging style, skinny jeans and skinny pants. Loved these. I also bought several of their, <laughs> I bought a few of their heels. I'm definitely gonna be getting more from this brand in the coming year because I really love how budget friendly it is and yet they have things like leather soles. That's, you really have to spend a lot of money to get these kind of details and I just felt like this is an amazing, amazing discovery for 2022. The other pair of shoes that I am wearing and you know it because I've shown them to you so many times is this little style, the little slingback style with the little kitten kind of heel. I find these to be the most comfortable. I've literally worn these on flights through the airport in new cities. I find them to just be the most comfortable heel height. It's just a little baby heel, just a little kitten. And it's just enough to where, just feel like I've got a little bit of height and I'm not walking around so flat on my feet. And also I just think that that style is amazing. Uh, then what else did I do this year? I also bought several pair of trousers from and other stories and their trousers their trousers are just absolutely gorgeous you guys the quality on their trousers i wish that i could just like send this through so you could just feel that fabric it is so high quality it is so well made and other stories is a brand that's underneath the h&m group but it's actually higher quality it's above h&m and so a lot of times they just they just pull out these pieces that are just stunning no one's gonna be surprised if you've been watching any of my videos whether on my home channel or over here on the fashion channel gosh if you watch my instagram you see i wear these t-shirts constantly Prior to this year, I really hadn't discovered a t-shirt. I was really struggling and I was trying to think, when did I actually buy the first one of these? Was it actually in this year? I felt like it was in actually in 2022. I had to really think through some of the items. Some things become so a part of your wardrobe that they just feel like they've always been there. Yeah, these t-shirts are great because they're more like a blouse. I've told you guys this over and over. I feel like I almost didn't even pull it because I was like, they have heard me talk about this so much. <laughs> that I'm almost just afraid to pull it out again. I don't want to bore you guys to death, but you know, it's the end of the year. We're looking into the, into the coming year. And I just think if you haven't bought these yet, I would highly recommend checking them out. They've got a wider shoulder on them, which makes it really, really nice because if you've got broader shoulders or if you carry your weight up here, I do, I carry my weight up here in my shoulders and in the backs of my arms. This is very flattering on that shoulder. The other thing that I have absolutely loved are these, these little vests. They have just been amazing. I love them because I've been able to layer up with these. They're great because they look cute with leggings. They look great with a pair of leather pants. You guys have seen us style these up in a few of the videos. We've been talking about them nonstop and I just love them. I have a couple of these. I bought it in a couple colors. It's great just with a turtleneck, with a t-shirt, even with a tank top. And then you can take it. And if you need another layer, you can actually throw a coat over it. And so you can really layer these up and they can be super casual or they can be a little bit more dressed up. If you're gonna be going out, we have like a little place that does like ice skating near us. And I was thinking, Oh, it'd be so nice to take the kids ice skating and to, I'll need more layers. I'm gonna need more layers and a little vest like that is just so nice. And yeah, I think you can put it underneath the coat like this. This is definitely another one of the items that I have absolutely loved that, and so happy that I purchased this year. I bought a, a, little, a little collection of coats because I really just didn't have that many as it was. And I really realized that this was a hole in my wardrobe. So I ordered a bunch of coats from And Other Stories. I would say that of all the places that I purchased from and other stories was just such a winner. All right, you knew <laughs> that I could not have a favorites video without bringing up the drop, the drop blazer. This one, I've got it. I think I have it in every color it comes in. I, I'm pretty sure I do. I just absolutely love this blazer. This is the blazer that I recommend to my friends and my family and to any of you who are saying, I'm thinking about getting my very first blazer, which one should I get? This is the one that I always recommend because it's, I've got the sleeves rolled because I'm a little bit shorter and I think it's nice sometimes to roll them and pull them up. But I feel like if you're taller, you're gonna be fine. There's plenty of sleeve length here, plenty of length here. And I just think it's a nice classic, easy fit. 
it goes with everything. It goes with jeans, with your leather pants, it goes with, a, I, I've worn them all summer with shorts. It's a really light fabric and it feels very, very high end and yet it's from Amazon and I just love them. Speaking of things that are less expensive but are pure magic, a couple things that I bought. <laughs> I bought a million <laughs> of these, not actually a million, but I did buy these pajamas off of Amazon in almost every single color. I think they make a great gift idea for yourself and to family and friends at this time of year. These are just absolutely gorgeous. They're so affordable and they come in so many different sizes and I just love them. Definitely had to mention the H&M set as well though, because I have loved this set as well. And I have to tell you, they sell out. I, I almost didn't even mention them because they keep selling out and I don't want to aggravate you guys showing you things that you can't get. But their satin pajamas are absolutely amazing. I've bought them in every color they put them out in. And I really just love, I loved the piping detail. I loved the matching robes that they came out with. I love the fact too that these actually have pockets in them and the leg is just a little bit wider, but these two pajamas, without a doubt, without a doubt, best purchases of 2022. I'm sure I will be purchasing more of those, especially the H&M, I don't know. Sometimes they bring stuff out and they don't bring it back. If they brought those out in another color, I would be buying them again. And same for the other ones from Amazon. If it comes in more colors, I'm just gonna keep buying them because you put less wear and tear on them when you have a few pairs and you can switch them out. So I think that's a lasting little purchase. Okay, let's talk about handbags. So uh, I kind of snuck this one in <laughs> this year. I got this beautiful Givenchy bag and it's just the cutest little thing ever. It's so classic. It's so understated. I like a bag that I can throw on my arm like this. I like to be hands-free. I, I really struggle with a bag that I have to actually carry like this. I don't take them out. I just don't take them out with me. I don't wear them. This one is so cute. It's got the little Givenchy logo on it. I really just thought that was so cute. And I liked how modern and graphic it was, but let me get you up close. This one also has the Greek key in it. So none of you are gonna be surprised because you know I'm a Greek girl. And if they put a Greek key on it, I'm gonna wanna buy it. But I just fell in love with this bag. I just fell in love with it. I thought it was so pretty. The leather is so nice. This has like a, it's like a oil, I can't remember what they called it. It was like a coated leather material. And so it's like, you, you, you can't mess it up. It's indestructible, which is a, one of the reasons that this was one of the first bags that I had bought in white because I was worried I would get it dirty. But this just literally wipes down. It's amazing. I couldn't remember if I got my wallet this year or if I got it last year. I have absolutely loved the little Valentino wallet. What I love about their products is that they look brand new after many, many years of use. Their leather is so high quality. Their little studs, again, just hold up to so much abuse. And I just think it's a bit of fun. And I love that little color. So yeah, had to have that one. Then I actually bought originally the little wallet on chain by Alexander McQueen. And now these keep selling out. I feel like word got out that this is just the most amazing little bag. If you just want something that you just literally sling on and run out in, this is ideal. It's just the simplest little easy bag. I bought it in the black originally in this size. And then I loved it so much. I went out and bought the white one because I loved this one too. I love the faux croc. I love the little skull. And I just think it's a little bit of edginess, a little bit of edginess in a very classic wardrobe, which is kind of how I air. Typically my wardrobe is pretty classic. And so I think a little bit of that faux croc and a little skull is just really, really cute. And I love both sizes. This one, you would need to take your wallet with you. That one easily fits the wallet in there. You can throw your phone in and a lipstick and it's just great. So that's the smaller size. I love them both. This one is a wallet. So literally all you have to do is throw your phone in it and a lipstick and it's just amazing. I love both sizes. I love both colors. And once I got brave with the white Givenchy bag, I got brave and bought another white one as well. And I just love these paired even with the browns and they're just so neutral that I just love them. The other bag that I bought this year, and oh my goodness, I have been so thrilled with this purchase. That is my Valentino larger, I don't even know what they call this, a shopping tote. This has been amazing. I've taken it on every trip since I got it. I got it, I think in the spring, 
And I was so stressed out about it because I was like, this thing needs to like take abuse. And everybody talks about the Louis Vuitton, their oil cloth one that they have that's got the coating on it and how everybody buys that and everybody loves it. And I was like, well, I like the one with the studs. Am I gonna like it as much? Is it gonna hold up? I don't think that you can even tell that it's even been used. There's like one tiny little scratch. I have shoved this underneath seats on the airplane. I've lugged it on top of the suitcase. I've dropped, you know, dropped it on the ground. I'm, I couldn't be any less careful with the bag. Honestly, I've been so abusive and it is absolutely amazing. So if you're looking for a larger bag, I a lot of times will have this in the car and what I'll do is I will have one of the other smaller bags and I'll have this just kind of thrown in here. You can see it's got like ibuprofen and uh, the little hand sanitizing wipes. It's got an extra cord in here. It's got mints, I've got band-aids and pads and you know, all that stuff. I keep all of that in this bag in my car and then if I need something, I've got it all with me. I don't have to necessarily carry this entire bag into the store if I don't want to. <laughs> Maybe into the movie theater, but <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> it's open, you gotta have a sealed one. That's a rookie mistake. <laughs> But I do just absolutely love this bag. Thought that it was by far one of my best purchases and knowing me, yeah, I would definitely buy this again. I would definitely buy this bag again. It's amazing. Uh, oh my gosh, I almost forgot to show you guys. Let me show you one last little fashion purchase. I loved this sweater so much. So this camel color is actually the second purchase of this sweater. I bought the first one to go for the holidays. I wanted something that would be really pretty in this green color by the tree and all that good stuff. And then I was like, I literally love the sweater. I'm living in it. It's not, it's, it's made with like a cotton. This one is 55% cotton, 37% nylon, and 8% wool. So what I love about this is that it is warm, but it's not super heavy, it's not super hot. It's kind of in that in-between. I love this sweater so much that I went back and bought. They have one that's got like the fair isle kind of pattern on it. Yeah, I had to have that one too, because I was like, oh, this is literally like the best purchase of the year. And so yeah, I had to go back and get more because I, absolutely love them. I think the colors they put them out in, the sizing is perfect. I got the small and I just like that little oversized look and you could always take it and kind of tuck it under like this if you want it to be more tucked up and a little bit more, you know, just a little bit more chic looking. You can do that as well. So loved this. You guys need to have this stuff. I'm almost afraid to tell you guys because I'm afraid they're gonna run out because it's a smaller company and their products are just amazing. I've got the heat protector that I use. I've got their little texturizing like spray that you put in before you dry your hair. But this product is the number one thing. I can't find anything else that's better than this. And I've tried other products, but to get my hair to keep a curl in it like this and to keep the style that I've put it into, the only thing that I could find that lasted is this one by R & Co. So yeah, I'll link that up for you. I had never bought any Dior Beauty before and I have fallen so in love with this that I am addicted to Dior Beauty. I really love it. So the first thing is their, these are like their atelier, like their special perfumes. Their perfumes from these collections are absolutely stunning. You, even though the price is higher than their regular perfumes, I've had that for months on end, used it every day, and you barely see the bottle go down. You just need like one squirt, and you just sort of miss yourself, and that is plenty. It really is a, it's a, I think there must be actually a parfum because it's very concentrated and you don't need a lot. And these fragrances are just more unique. They're not mass produced and they are exquisite. I absolutely love them. I think I've actually told you guys about these. Yeah, I think I have because I can't shut up about it. I just even love the color. I just see everything about it. I have it sitting out on my counter. It's such a pleasure to see it out every single day and I just love these. They have a few and I would not be surprised, I'm hoping maybe even I'll have one underneath the tree, <laughs> but don't be surprised if you see more of those in the coming year because I'm thinking, ooh, floral fragrances for springtime, I, I can't wait. This one's very like warm and spicy. 
I also bought some of their cosmetics because look at the packaging on these. The packaging makes getting ready in the morning so much fun. I, I really just love, it feels like the biggest pampering moment to get ready in the morning. When you have packaging like this, it just changes the experience. So I've got the little highlighter, I've got the powder. I fell in love with these eyeshadow palettes. I was like, ooh, have I talked about these to you guys as well? I mean, the channel's still new. So anything I'm, I'm talking about, I'm probably gonna be obsessed with because I'm really just trying to give you the best of the best of the best. Their eyeshadow palettes are absolutely incredible. I just adore the colors. That's what I'm wearing today. They're really, really neutral. The, they go on so creamy. I was wearing the, the blush, or I was wearing the highlighter and the, um, I also have the, I didn't bring it with me. I have the bronzer from them. So I've got the bronzer, the highlighter, and the powder on, and this on today. This is like my go-to when I'm wanting to pamper myself and I, I woke up a little bit tired today. It's raining and so I was just like, oh, I'm kind of like crawling out of bed, trying to convince myself to work out. It's one of those days and I'm like, it is definitely a Dior day and it just, makes the day just feel like, oh, I don't know. I've got this little combination that I do. I literally freaked over the packaging. Look at the package on this lipstick. Could you not just die? I was like, oh, I have to have this. This one is their 505 Forever Sensual. This stuff stays in place all day long. I've just about used all of it. They're actually a little bit hard to find. <laughs> a lot of the, the a lot of the department stores didn't even get them because they sold out so fast through stores like Sephora that they were complaining that they hadn't gotten them in the store and everybody was asking about them. They literally stay, they really do stay in place. I personally love how matte they are. I love a matte lipstick, but I wanted to like, you know, plump up the lip is the lips a little bit. I've been hearing so many of my girlfriends are talking about getting Botox and I'm like, huh, I'm terrified to put anything in because I have so many like sensitivities and things. And so I was like, you know what? What if we just do a little plumping lip gloss? And this is called Forget the Filler by Lawless. And I swear this stuff just plumps the lips up, gives them a little bit of shine. And I wear this combination on repeat all the time. But I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. I hope more than anything it inspires you just to hear what it is that I'm looking for and something that becomes a favorite, something that makes me want to go back and grab a second one of them. The feel of it, the fabrics, the quality, the colors. Those are the kinds of things that I'm always looking for in my wardrobe and I am getting so excited about the coming year. So this is going to be our last video in 2022. I can't believe it. So I am flipping out because I'm gonna take the next couple weeks when we have a little bit of time off and I'm gonna do some serious mood boarding. I'm gonna be really looking at where I want my wardrobe to go into 2023. And I'm gonna be sharing all of that with you. We're gonna be talking about trends that I'm loving, trends that I'm excited about. I wanna hear from you guys as well. Let me know what you hope we'll be publishing here on the Fashion and Beauty channel for the coming year. Let me know what you want to see and what you're curious about. Uh, I haven't quite gotten up the nerve yet to do like a makeup look <laughs> because I'm, I'm an amateur. So I don't know if that's the kind of stuff you want, let me know. I know some of you have asked for like workout routines. I think maybe in the coming year, maybe we'll talk about uh, what I do to stay fit over 40. I've been doing the same thing for 18 years. So I, it's working for me. I'm just going to stick with it. So yeah, it's, it's, it's an ageless workout. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested in that kind of stuff, let me know down in the comments what you hope that we'll be publishing and bringing out to you in the coming year. But either way, I can promise you we're gonna be talking about trends, we're gonna be talking about working out and fitness outfits that are cute and definitely what I am thinking about adding into my wardrobe and where my wardrobe is going to go. I've got some pretty big changes. I'm gonna be making, and I'm really excited to share all that with you. So I hope that you will hit subscribe if you have not already here on our fashion channel. I cannot believe that we're literally right here at 25,000 subscribers on this channel. <sighs> amazing, it's amazing. Thank you so much for joining us on this new channel. And if you haven't hopped over to the home channel, we hope that you will check that out as well. And check out the new videos if you're new to this channel. We've even got, we've got quite a few on here. It's totally binge worthy. 
I'll see you guys in the new year. Happy, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year, and Happy Holidays to all of you. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.